well. I look tired. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I haven't got any earrings in and I cannot have that. One second. Hold please. I say that and then I put a pair in which you can barely see. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Hi everybody. Um, today we are trying out a concealer and thank god because my under eyes are looking worse for wear. Um, <laughs> but I already have my foundation on um, ready so we can jump right in. Today we're going to be talking about the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer. I'm so excited to try this one out. You guys know if you've been on my channel for any amount of time. Since I tried the e.l.f. Matte Camel Concealer I've been obsessed. It's literally one of my favourite concealers on the market. It's such full coverage and the shade range is amazing. It sets down really nicely. It doesn't crease that much. It's a really good affordable affordable concealer. Literally it's five pounds and these follow suit as well. These are also five pounds. I got them from Superdrug, I think I bought them, or off Elf's website. I can't quite remember where I got them from but they're five pounds each. I got two shades, Fair Warm and Light Sand. I wanted to do an independent video on these concealers because I kind of wanted to discuss them in a little bit more depth. Because I already had the matte version of this, I thought this would be pretty much exactly the same shade wise. The matte concealer comes in I think around 20 five shades originally. I do believe they might have extended it a little bit more. Now I know they've got a white, which is awesome. And the hydrating concealer comes in pretty much the same shades, or it appears. <laughs> when I looked at these shades, I thought, hmm, they seem a little darker than the original matte concealer. And so I wanted to do a comparison video showing you guys side by side the shade differences, just so you have a heads up if you are thinking about picking up this hydrating concealer and you already own the matte one, it's not gonna be the same shade all around. So, first of all, it comes in this cute little nude packaging. I quite like the packaging, but it is gonna be just thrown away now. <laughs> okay, so the matte concealer actually has a black top and the hydrating has a white. I quite like that, so I know which one's which. It's all in the details, okay? It's all in the details. As I suspected, the shades aren't as light as the original camo concealer. Obviously this is just in the tube, I will be swatching them and we can see if it's maybe just oxidization around the exterior of the packaging. I don't know, but I am hoping it's gonna be lighter because I've used a foundation that really matches my chest today, so I am looking rather pasty on my face. <laughs> Let me just show you the difference. So the top one is the hydrating and the bottom one is the matte. As you can see, there is a little bit of a shade difference. These two are the shade Fair Warm side by side and this is the shade Light Sand side by side. It does look deeper than the original matte formula. So there's that. <laughs> There's actually a little bit of separation in the formula as well. These haven't been opened as you guys saw they were still in the box so that's a little bit concerning. But I'm still gonna try these out and hope that they work. <laughs> Let's just show you a little bit of a comparison to the shades next to each other just so you guys can really see the difference. Oh god. Is this the right shade? Yes, it is the right shade. God, there's a hell of a shade difference. This is the shade Fair Warm, side by side. Like, the shade difference is insane. And I actually think this may be a tad too dark for my under eyes, especially with this base. To have them named the same shade and be completely different, especially when they're in the same kind of collection almost, like they're the camo concealer, they're both named the same, just one's hydrating and one's matte. For them to look this different, I, it's just really annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna put the light sand shade in the matte formula next to the hydrating one, because to me those two shades look more comparable. Yeah, see, even the light sand is lighter than the Fair Warm in the Hydrating. Don't even want to think about what this one's gonna look like. This is the light sand in the Hydrating. Oh, dear lord. <laughs> like, to me, that is a medium concealer. That's not light in, in any sense. I could use that to bronze. <laughs> so yeah, this is why I wanted to make a individual video on this concealer in particular just because of the shade inconsistency. I was so impressed with the matte concealer when they had a shade this fair because it was even slightly paler than what I needed but I'd love to use it as a very brightening concealer but the fact that it's not the same in the hydrating one, which I have a feeling I probably like the formula of, it's a little bit disappointing. Granted they are really affordable and I'm not, you know, attacking e.l.f. I'm just bringing you guys the facts and the evidence um, <laughs> and I just wanted to talk about it because I haven't heard anybody talk about it and I've seen a few people loving this concealer but nobody's spoken about the differences in the shades throughout their range so 
that's my two cents. <laughs> I am still gonna try this concealer, um, see how it applies on my under eyes and see if I prefer it over the matte one. But yeah, I think I've said enough. <laughs> I need to stop yammering on and let's just get right on into the application. Let's zoom you guys in. Okay, so I'm gonna try applying this and blending it out with two applicators just because I really like this. So this is actually the Urban Decay Naked Honey Blending Brush, but I really like it for concealer. It just blends it out nicely. <laughs> and then also I've got my Spectrum sponge to blend it out as well. I'm gonna go in with the shade Fair Warm, which is the lightest out of the two, begrudgingly. Um, and... Okay, it might just work. I'm just gonna apply just a little bit here and here. I have been applying less concealer lately. Well, not all the time, it depends what kind of mood I'm in, but I'm gonna try blending this out with my brush. And let's pat this out. It's almost just a more yellow tone version of my foundation right now. My foundation is a little bit more neutral. So right off the bat, it doesn't seem to have as much coverage as the matte concealer. It's got a beautiful looking finish so far with the brush, but it doesn't have as much cover power. It does have a really nice hydrating looking finish, like I look so fresh underneath the eyes, which is really nice, but I can still see my blueness coming through quite predominantly. Let's do the same on this side. Let's blend it out with a sponge. Okay, I do really like the finish with the sponge more. I feel like it's more dewy and hydrating with the brush. This kind of just takes away the sheen a little bit and makes it look more like my skin. Like my skin doesn't shine this much. <laughs> uh, well, at the end of the day it might. <laughs> but I prefer the finish with a sponge. It looks more satin. But again, the coverage isn't as like extreme as the matte one. So I am just gonna add a little bit more to these areas where I need it. I do love the doe foot on this and it feels so creamy. I had to check, I picked up the hydrating one then because I panicked and thought I'd picked up the matte one. <sighs> I will say the shade isn't as bad on my face, but it's nothing compared to the matte one. I'm gonna keep saying this, I know I sound like a broken record. Like I like something a little bit more brightening. Like this is basically white, <laughs> just with a yellowy kind of tinge, which is what I like. I guess this will be good for more natural days when I don't want to have such a bright under eye but still I'd like to have the option you know I'm gonna actually use the matte one to highlight my face while I'm here just to show you guys the difference in the shades I would say that's quite a drastic difference you know I forgot how fast this one dries down <laughs> okay so this has had the opportunity to kind of dry down a little bit let's just blend this out see if I get better coverage now Okay, I do really love the finish and my under eyes look really smooth, look really hydrated. The coverage now I do feel like is better with the second layer and leaving it set a little. I would definitely recommend leaving it set to get the best amount of coverage if that's what you're looking for. However, my blueness is still coming through. The light probably by my softbox is reflecting it a lot, but there is quite a bit of blueness coming through so it hasn't like cancelled that out. I'd probably have to go in with my peach colour corrector if I want to completely cancel that out you know. But the finish is pretty. As far as under eye creasing goes um, it's pretty normal. It's not looking any worse than other concealers I own. I'm gonna go ahead and set it with my Laura Mercier powder. Let's just set it and forget it. have a look up close. Ooh. Okay, that's set down with the powder really nicely and I actually quite like the way my under eyes are looking. The finish, obviously you can see the dewiness is pretty much gone, but it isn't a flat finish once I've powdered it and it hasn't gone cakey. It doesn't feel heavy underneath my eyes. If I just had a little bit of peach corrector underneath this, I think it would look a lot better. That's my thoughts so far. I am gonna wear this for a few hours and then I'll check back in, see if it's had any more creasing. So yeah, I'm gonna go finish off the rest of my face and I'll check in with you guys later. See you in a little bit. 
Hey guys, okay, so it's been a few more hours and clearly, um, <laughs> I've been playing around with makeup with my Mama Mitchell palette and some pigments and created a bright look. I don't quite think the lips go with it, but here we are. This is what it looks like, okay? <laughs> it's been about three to four hours, I'd say, since I applied the concealer. I'm pretty sure it's been about that, maybe even over that. And I just wanted to kind of do like a little bit of a check-in on the product. My blue list is still showing through as it did in the beginning of the video. I feel like on camera, as you're this far away, you can't see it until you're like up close and personal. Um, my eyes are looking very creasy. <laughs> this is not a creaseless concealer at all. The coverage is still there as much as it was giving me in the beginning. But yeah, I am very, very creasy. Like I don't usually get that creasy on this eye, but I have quite a few lines appearing, which is natural. I mean, come on, we all express and I naturally have creases underneath my eyes, you know? It's not necessarily like wrinkling. <laughs> It's just the way my expressions are underneath there, you know. They are seeming more prominent, especially on this eye. I get quite a lot on this eye anyway, but I don't really get as much here, and it is quite prominent on this eye. If you're hoping for a more hydrating version of the MAC concealer, I wouldn't say it's so comparable with it, apart that it's from e.l.f. and it's called the Camo Hydrating Concealer. <laughs> One thing that I guess is kind of comparable is the texture of it, so it is that kind of thick, creamy kind of product when you first apply it, but the actual coverage and even the blendability of it isn't the same. It kind of shears out a little bit more than the matte one does, which I guess that is kind of like a natural progression of the different formulations, one being hydrating, one being matte, one's gonna stay more and then the hydrating one is kind of going to mold to your skin a little bit more. I do feel like on the face this would look really nice because this area by here, like on my cheekbone where I blended it down, looks so smooth and there's no kind of texture issues or anything like that. I mean these are just obviously observations, first impressions using the product after me knowing the matte product so well because I do use that quite a lot. But so far I prefer the matte one. <laughs> okay, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I do like trying products individually sometimes because you can really go in and really discuss the pros and the cons and you know how it wears and everything like that. I feel like it's a little bit more informative than say doing like full face first impressions even though I do enjoy doing that and there is another one of those coming soon. <laughs> if you like this makeup by the way and you'd like to see more colourful looks on my channel then please just leave a thumbs up on the video because I'd be more than happy to film this. Such a pretty kind of summery vibe, cut crease, ombre kind of liner moment with just some pretty lashes. Um, so yeah, just let me know, thumbs up the video. Also that really helps my channel out by the way, just leaving a thumbs up. I forget to say it in my videos but it does honestly help my channel reach new people and things like that so I would really appreciate it if you did leave a thumbs up on the video anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and you're staying safe and having a nice day. If you're new to the channel and you like things like this, then why not subscribe? All you need to do is hit the red button down below and the little bell button and that'll just notify you when I upload next. So I hope to see you on the next one. Until then, I shall see you. Bye guys. <laughs>